It is Thanksgiving, and that means it's the perfect time to count down the top five political turkeys of 2021. Here with some of the moments he thinks deserve to be roasted is former Utah Congressman and Fox News contributor Jason Chaffetz. Good morning to you. Happy Thanksgiving, Jason. Happy Thanksgiving. We don't mean to disparage turkeys, but uh, <laughs> these are some turkeys. Carly. I think this segment is so funny. Um, and the first political turkey of 2021 um, that you think deserves the honor is President Biden, because we just can't seem to get an answer from him here in the media. Watch this. You guys are bad. I'm not supposed to be answering all these questions. I'm supposed to leave. I'm not, I'm not supposed to take any questions, but go ahead. Mr. President, on Afghanistan. I'm not going to answer Afghanistan now. I'm supposed to stop and walk out of the room here. Thank you for your time and effort. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you later. Thank you. 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 Well, no, it's the puppeteers that make the rules. Oh, Come got on. It. If he's going to, they're not going to let him have any ice cream if he answers any questions. So he's, he's they, there's no way he's going to answer questions. You know what? Donald Trump, the most open and transparent president ever, answered questions all the time. Joe Biden, eh, not so much. Yeah, not to be outdone, uh, here is Vice President Kamala Harris. She also landed on the list for this moment that I'm sure many at home will remember. Watch. I wonder who the head of the Space Council is. Are you oh, kidding me? The head of the Space Council is the Vice President! You're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your oh, own my eyes. Oh my goodness. With your own eyes, I'm telling you, it is gonna be unbelievable. Jason, of course, the people who are literally gonna see the craters on the moon with their own eyes, I'm telling you, were child actors. Yeah, paid actors. Oh my gosh, Carly, did you know that if we go outside, you can actually look up in the air and see the moon all by yourself, and they pay me to be the head of the Space Council, and I will show you all to myself. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's doing amazing. Pretty Just an staged. amazing job. Yeah. Um, so I had forgotten about this, but it was a big deal when it happened. Uh, former President Obama's birthday bash. Yeah, party time, party time. There's a lot to do with uh, Nantucket. Nantucket seems to be a common theme here with uh, Joe Biden and, and uh, Barack Obama, but right at the heart of when they're trying to put this mask mandate on every single American, then you got the president. Hey, happy birthday, Mr. President. I hope you have fun. But everybody should be able to have that kind of party, not just the elite. Yeah, I know. And that was the whole thing. It was like, OK, great that you're having this birthday party. Um, I think that everybody should be allowed to have one. But when you're telling other people to mask up and not hang out with each other, and then you have this giant party that was supposed to be like hundreds and hundreds of people, um, it was the uh, hypocrisy of 2021 that we kept on seeing. Also, number four. Yeah. I forgot about this one as well, and I'm glad you brought it up. The White House uh, posted a tweet, and I think it was for the 4th of July. Yeah, that's right. It says, the cost of a 4th of July cookout in 2021 is down 16 cents from last year. Is that really something that we should be touting, 16 cents? I don't know. Oh, America, I hope you invested that 16 cents because you probably gobbled that up in gas prices just pulling out of the driveway today. Um, 16 cents, they put together graphics, they tweeted about it, they made a big deal about it. And you look at what we're going through now with the inflation, the Biden-Harris inflation, and the policies they put in place that made that inflation possible. Uh, it was yeah. a special moment. A, a well, turkey. I guess, Jason, we should have been thankful. Hindsight is twenty twenty on this one because now we should have been thankful for the 16 cents because the cost of Thanksgiving is up. So at least we were going down at that time. Look at those prices. Uh, OK, so going Yikes. back to former President Obama, his party, not alone and the no masked party thing. D.C. Mayor Mariel Bowser, she went maskless to an event just hours before her very own mandate went into effect. Yeah, you know, I've dealt a lot with the D.C. mayor, and I'm sorry, but um, you know, the duplicity was what gets to people. You had this problem out in California with Gavin Newsom, the governor there. You had this problem time and time again where these people said, you have to do these masks, and then they're out partying and having fun and doing it without them. Even Dr. Fauci himself um, it, it's just so wrong. But I hope everybody, I hope you and everybody else enjoy this Thanksgiving. There are a lot of people working today. 
who are, serve on our front lines. They're military. They mm -hmm. are overseas. I, I just hope everybody has. We, we tried to poke a little fun at this, but you know what? Uh, I'm so grateful and thankful this Thanksgiving Absolutely. for all those, those people working today. End the segment off on a, a positive note. I absolutely love that. Jason, you're the best. Thank you for joining us this morning. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Thank you.